This is Judith by Art Nouveau painter Gustav Klimt, made in 1901. Or is it just a copy? The answer can be found at the Museum of Art Fakes in Vienna. The name says it all. Everything here is a counterfeit. Diana Grobe is the museum's director. She's always glad to add to her collection, especially works by famous forgers. Forgers have plied their trade throughout history, often with amazing talent. These Picasso imitations were painted by Elmer de Hori from Hungary. This is a typical fake done in the artist's style. Picasso actually made a paper mache owl. The forger invented this sketch and then put it into circulation. The buyer was told that the owl actually exists, and this is the sketch Picasso made for it. That made the story seem real. Some fakes are worth thousands of euros today, in large part due to the odd and interesting stories that surround their creation. Vienna's Museum of Art History also owns some fakes. Generations of aspiring art students have studied and copied works by the old masters. It's not forgery, it's completely legal, and the paintings get a special stamp from the museum to make sure that no mix-ups will happen. Karl-Heinz Wenger recreated a painting by the Dutch master Jan Vermeer. I did a good job with this one. The original shows signs of age, but I didn't want to recreate that. The colors have a yellow cast, and you can see some cracks and damage, but I don't want those in my copy. I want to paint it the way it originally looked, and the way people originally viewed it. Silvia Ferino is director of the picture gallery. She put together the current exhibition called Doppelgänger, or Lookalikes, from the museum's own collection. Here are two versions of a work by the Dutch master Jan van Hermessen, dating from the 16th century. It's a good example of what you often see in a fake. When you take a close look, you can see that the replica is louder than the original. It tends to draw out the details even more powerfully than the real one. But for the unskilled eye, it's not easy to distinguish the original from the copy on the right. As Silvia Ferrino knows, even the grand old masters copied works by other artists, and they often became famous too. The Art 5 Gallery in Leipzig is a modern supplier of high-quality counterfeits. A client has asked them to recreate Blue Dancers by the French Impressionist Edgar Degas. This oil painting will sell for about a thousand euros. It's impossible to create a perfect copy of an Impressionist work. But I do what I can, and I always give it my best. The gallery mainly sells modern art. They don't aim to create exact replicas. Instead, they want to create new interpretations of well-known works, like this doppelganger of James Bond, inspired by Andy Warhol's Double Elvis. Here we analyzed how Andy Warhol worked, the techniques he worked with, the formats he used, the proportions of his images. You could say we're following in the artist's own footprints. A forgery isn't always just an imitation of the original. Many copies are works of art in their own right. But whether original or fake, as long as there is a market for art, there will be people who will copy it. <laughs>